Monster Hunter as a series has a very distinct and unique identity, but it's also a series that likes to branch out and experiment. 2017's Monster Hunter Stories was a traditional Pokemon-style turn-based RPG, and though it obviously didn't catch on as well as the main series, it garnered a solid fan base nonetheless. Now, Capcom is ready to expand on that formula. With Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin almost upon us, here we're going to talk about a few key details that you should know about the game. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's get started. Story Details Monster Hunter Stories 2 sees you playing as a writer once again, the grandchild of another legendary writer, Red, who has mysteriously vanished. Meanwhile, Rathalos and Wyverns all over the world have also started vanishing, and no one can figure out why. With new companions and a newly hatched Rathalos, you'll set out on a journey that will take you to a variety of locations, as you try and unravel the mysteries and figure out how to save the vanishing Rathalos. Characters Monster Hunter Stories 2 is also promising a large and varied cast of characters. In addition to the protagonist and the aforementioned Red, you can also expect to meet the likes of Ina, a Wyverian who knew Red and is determined to finish his work, Navi Rao, an adventurous feline who will act as your guide, Kana, a free-spirited fellow rider, Alwyn, a Wyverian rider who also used to be friends with Red, and a mysterious group of masked riders who impede your progress at every step and are attempting to capture Ratha, the baby Rathalos traveling with you. Monsters Monster Hunter is all about the monsters, of course, no matter how much the gameplay changes, so exactly which monsters can we expect to see in Stories 2? While it remains to be seen whether there will be any brand new monsters in the game, quite a few returning favorites have been confirmed already. These include the likes of Astalos, Berioth, Rathian, Diablos, Toby Kadachi, Basil Juice, Puke Puke, Mitsutsune, Anjanath, Kulu Yaku, and more. Rage Raid Monsters A very interesting new element being introduced in Monster Hunter Stories 2 is Rage Raid Monsters. All over the game's world, mysterious pits emitting lights called Rage Rays have started opening up, and any monsters affected by these Rage Rays gain vicious and formidable powers, becoming Rage Raid variants of themselves. It remains to be seen exactly how this will play into the story and how it will translate as a gameplay mechanic, but we are very curious to find out. Areas Monster Hunter Stories 2's premise is clearly setting up the kind of globe-trotting adventure that any JRPG fan would enjoy. So exactly what sort of locations will we be traveling to in the game? Well, there's quite a few. There's the frigid icy region, Loloska. There's Pomor Garden, a vibrant location full of blooming flowers and lush vegetation. There's the volcanic trail of Turga. There's Kuan Village, located in Loloska. There's the tropical Hakola Island, your hometown Mahana Village the vast and arid desert region of Lemur, and so much more. Customization Like its predecessor, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will also let you create and customize your character. Exact details on how extensive these options will be haven't yet been confirmed, but you can expect options for everything from your gender and your skin color to your hair, eyes, and more. Writing Actions Monster Hunter Stories 2 will let you hop onto the backs of your tamed monster companions, which will also entail a feature called writing actions. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it's basically what it sounds like. Depending on what sort of monster you're riding, you'll be able to dash, fly, or swim, and will also be able to use these abilities to get to otherwise inaccessible areas. Weapons Monster Hunter Stories 2 might not have as many weapons as World or Rise, but it will have more than the first Monster Hunter Stories. From the first game, the Great Sword, the Hunting Horn, the Hammer, and the Sword and Shield are all returning in Stories 2. Meanwhile, two more weapons have also been added, with the Bow and the Gun Lance for all of the hunters and riders out there who prefer ranged combat. Versus Battle Mode Versus Battle Mode is also returning, which will allow up to four players to battle each other at once. Various rule set options will also be available, including quick rules, in which each player only has one heart, balanced rules, in which all players will be set to the same levels, and no limit rules, which, as the name suggests, won't set any limits on player levels whatsoever. Co-op Co-op has also been confirmed for Monster Hunter Stories 2, and will include various kinds of exclusive quests set in areas only accessible via multiplayer. 
There's Expedition Quest, which let you explore nests and get new eggs, if you have Expedition tickets. There's Trial Quests, in which players will fight together to take down specific monsters and meet several conditions and requirements during combat. And there's Slaying Quests, which are good old monster hunting quests. Cross Compatibility with Rise Monster Hunter Stories 2 will also have some level of cross compatibility with Monster Hunter Rise. Specifically, if you have a Rise save file, you will get the Kimura Garb layered armor set for your character in Stories 2. Obviously, this will only be available on the Switch at launch, what with Rise having not launched on PC yet. Whether or not that changes once Rise comes to PC remains to be seen. Deluxe Edition If you choose to get the Deluxe Edition of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, you're going to get plenty of additional stuff on top of the base game. The Kwan Coat outfit for Ina, Puke Puke and Nur Gigante costumes for Navi Ro, the spiky Nurgle hairstyle for your rider, the Raisewing Armor and Alpha Raisewing Armor Beta Layered Armor, and two Adventure Buddies sticker sets are also going to be included in the Deluxe Edition. PC Requirements A bunch of people are going to probably be playing Monster Hunter Stories on Switch, but the game is also releasing for PC. Thankfully, the game's PC requirements are not very demanding. On minimum settings, you'll need an Intel Core i5-3470, a GeForce GTX 650, and 4GB of RAM. Meanwhile, on recommended settings, you'll need an Intel Core i5-4460 and a GeForce GTX 760, while RAM requirements will stay the same at 4GB. Pre-order bonus If you pre-order Monster Hunter Stories 2, you'll also get an extra cosmetic goodie in the game. Specifically, pre-orders will unlock the Kimura Maiden outfit for Ina in the game, which is something that fans of Monster Hunter Rise might be interested in. Capcom has noted that the outfit might be made available in the game after launch as well, so there is that. Amiibo Three new Amiibos have also been confirmed to go along with the looming launch of Monster Hunter Stories 2. Namely, these are the Ina Amiibo, the Tsukino Amiibo, and the Raisewing Ratha Amiibo. As you'd expect, each of these Amiibos will unlock a different special layered armor set in the game for your character. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.